In this video, what I wanted to do is go over um, the communication between the Vodia tool and the diagnostic link to the engine. So for example, today, let's say you have a problem with the engine, does it run right, won't start, and you plug in your Vodia tool and you don't have any communication. You tried your Vodia tool in another good known engine and it communicates just fine. Uh, being an older engine like this, it probably Vodia doesn't need an update. So let's go through that diagnostic routine. So what I want to know is, do I have communication getting to the Vodia tool? So what I have is I have my extension harness I plugged into my diagnostic connection that goes up to my Vodia tool. I'm going to again use my breakout box. So I'm going to disconnect my extension harness. I'm going to take my breakout box. I'm going to plug my breakout box into my extension harness, six pin, and then I'm going to plug my X2 data link into that. If I look on my X2 data link harness, I can see pins five and pins two. Two and five are the two connections that I have my communication for my Vodia tool. So that tells me again, when I go back to my breakout box, I have pins two, three, and four starts at pin 10. That's your six pin terminal, okay? Pins two and five then would be, pin 11 would be two, and then pin five would be 14. Those are the two that we're gonna look at. So again, I'm gonna turn my multimeter to frequency. I'm gonna take my harness plug and I'm gonna look for my ground, which is pin four. So I'm gonna put my ground on pin four. So I start again at pin 10. One, two, three, four is ground. And then pin two, pin 11 is one, two. That's my first communication link. And what I want to do is see if I have any communication on that. And the other one is 5, which is 14. Now, at this point, what I haven't done is I haven't diagnosed whether I have a problem with those wires. And if I do have a problem with these wires, that information comes from where? It comes from the PCU. So if I have zero frequency on both of those wires, then what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm going to pin out between this harness connection and that harness connection. So at this point, what I need to do is I can either use the connection right here. I can disconnect my breakout box and I can test between here. And probably what I would do is take the X3 data link connector off, plug my break in, plug my break into that. I need to look into my book and I need to go to my PCU connections here. And in my PCU connections, I need to find my two J1708 diagnostic bus. That's pin 15, and the other one is pin five. So five and 15, and I would write that down. So that means I could check continuity between pins 15 and pins five with my PCU connection. And I wanna just pin out the harness to see if I have opens, shorts to that wire, high resistance in that wire, and that would tell me that that harness is the problem. If that harness is not the problem, and you've used your extension harness and good known engine, then you know this harness, and you know the tool works, then what's left? The PCU, so your communication in your PCU is bad, all right? So that's how you would test that to see if you have that problem. Again, you could use DC voltage is another option if you don't have frequency and you should have some voltage on those two wires. Okay, I hope that helps for your diagnostics and that is actually trying to diagnose the diagnostic tool that does not function because possibly of a, a failed driver in the PCU, a harness issue. Always check your diagnostic tool against a good known engine if you can. 
along with your harnesses, your breakout harnesses, or your, should I say, extension harness. Okay. Next, we'll do some more uh, diagnostics. 